You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Uh, Mike Madrid is an author of uh, the Latino Century. Century. He is a GOP political consultant, uh, and he has put this damning, damning new numbers up, saying we're now in a place in the race where we'll have to look for other pathways for Harris to win with shrinking share with a shrinking share of Latino voters, and he posts this up. Democrats are also losing the battle on immigration. A clear majority of Latinos say the border is not secure, and Trump has a 13-point advantage on securing the border and controlling immigration. All right? And they asked them, from what you've seen, can you, can you see this? Yeah, yeah, you can see this. Okay, great. From what you've seen, read, or heard about the U.S. border with Mexico, would you say the border is totally secure, mostly secure, mostly not secure, totally not secure, or do you not even know enough about this to have an opinion? Uh, this looks like it is an NBC, C, uh, you know, Telemundo, NC, NBC report, poll taken. 58% says it's not secure. These are Latinos saying that. Yeah. Well, these are the, the Latinos that would probably vote for her. You know, NBC, Probably. MSNBC, Telemundo, you know, that's what they that's what the Democrats have always relied on. But it's a new game. Now, I would like you to compare Kamala Harris and Donald Trump on a few issues and personal character exists for each one. Please tell me whether you think that Kamala or, or Trump would be better if you think both would be equally good or that neither would be good on a particular issue. Just say so. Securing the border and controlling immigration. 47% Trump better, 30, 34% Harris better. That is a differential of 13%. Fletcher, what say you on this? Yeah, I mean, it's, they're losing the plot to the people who used to cheer the most. You know, mm. the MSNBC and Telemundo, you know, crowd are the cheerleaders. And to mm. have them, you know, kind of turn away. It, it's very mm -hmm. telling. Uh, now, how much is that going to affect when, you know, you have a controlled opposition of, of you know, shipped uh, voters in? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, the, that's the, the real kicker on this one because, you know, a lot of the people that are coming in already, you know, already registered, already there. So you're like, I, w I would like, I, I, you know, I've seen some, uh, some, uh, like the offshoot polls, like just asking people around, around the shelters, you know what I mean? The migrant shelters and most of them are pro, you know, pro Harris. So this, they could be the, the tipping that, that nobody's polling, you know? Well, I'm just going to say this real quick and we'll move on. But the fact that Mike Madrid posted this, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, a Democrat running for president in 2024, if you were to tell me a year ago, well, two years ago, that the Democrat presidential candidate in 2024 would lose the Latino vote and that la they're, and not only lose, but that their vote, that their hold on them is shrinking to this. I would never have believed it, but this is reality. What do you guys think? Let me know. Wow.